Article 24. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $50,000 for purchase of the following replacement vehicle for the Department of Public Works? One replacement yard horse tractor, the replaced vehicle to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the Public Works Director, Town Manager, and Board of Selectmen. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Romans 6 and shall not lapse until these purchases are completed or by March 31, 2019, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 9-0. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2018 tax impact on $50,000 is 1.5 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Motion to open discussion on Article 24. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Griffin. Uh, Mr. Jacobs, would you like to speak to Article 24? Yes, thank you. Uh, brief history, uh, what this particular vehicle does is it moves around the six solid waste trailers that we have down at the transfer station. That is its sole use. It's not an over-the-road piece of equipment. Um, saying that, the, when I came here, we had a uh, truck that we'd gotten from another vendor. Um, the windows wouldn't go down, the heat wouldn't work, and the door wouldn't shut. Um, we deemed it a safety hazard because they didn't want someone falling out of the truck um, to get a better yet not good truck. Uh, the one we have, the door is closed, the heat works, um, but in the last two years, we've, it has not correctly picked up two of our trailers and the trailer has literally slid backwards. When it did, it damaged the legs below both trailers to the point they had to be replaced at the tune of about $2,000 a piece. So when I broke up the previous vehicle replacement article uh, to the previous mentioned lease article, this was the remainder half of that, and that was and is to, um, yeah, that last slide, that's that little red donkey. It uses a, uh, an actual balloon, bladder, uh, that it, you turn on the compressor to lift the trailer. Well, twice it's failed to stay inflated and has literally dropped the trailer. Um, my concern um, with the last time it happened is there was a guy standing between the end of the trailer and the compactor. And if he'd had his, it's a safety issue is all I'd like to say. Uh, with respect to is this enough money, uh, I checked the internet yesterday afternoon. I found three of them for sale uh, at just under $50,000. So I'm sure that uh, with this being traded in, that 50000 will be adequate for us to get a used, not brand new, uh, what we call a yard horse to move safely move our trailers serve you and protect our employees. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 24? Seeing Rusty. none, Article 24. Rusty. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Just one thing further. This will also have hydraulics on it, correct, so that they can uh, unload a packer, if they, or unload one of the trails if they have to. I know we've had yeah. a problem down there before with a fire. The first week I took over as director, not the first or second day, I came back into the yard and there was a fire in one of the trailers. Um, wood stove material had been, people thought it was ice cold, but it wasn't. It had gotten uh, deposited at the transfer station and pushed into the trailer and it fermented for a few hours before it took off. Um, we, had, we don't have a truck with the capability to exercise the um, trailer to actually push the load back out because that's what needed to be done for the fire department to be able to put the fire out. Um, instead, they climbed up on top, like what you see that black trailer, and literally cut a hole in the roof. Um, and then um, put in the water or the foam that they used to put the trailer out. So that's the other benefit of a new modern yard horse is in the event we need to exercise the trailer, um, we can do so. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Seeing no further comment on Article 24, it will appear on the ballot as printed.